Uh, all right. So now we're going to look at the drip marketing. But before we look at the drip marketing, I do want to look at this um, Farina stuff because there's a lot of stuff here that we could infer. This stuff came out literally yesterday. I haven't really looked at it. Night mode? Yeah, why wouldn't you have a night mode? What am I? I'm not trying to blind my chat. All right. Uh, the endless solo of solitude, Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and law. As the voices of doubt have bubbled up like a torrent, she has been forced to adopt a higher spirited and more unyielding demeanor in her defense. But she must also continue to fulfill her duties at hand, and can't possibly let her weakness be exposed through the rise and fall of her emotions. The advent of an impending disaster, long foretold by ancient prophecy, draws near. Faced with such times, what is a god to do? Hey, Fenrir, thank you for the sub. More than anyone else, she wishes she knew. From an onlooker's perspective, she seems distracted and weary, but she waves this off as a simple lack of sleep. As the Regina loved and respected by her people, how could she let such buzzing naysayers get to her? No. No matter how chaotic and urgent things get, she can't allow herself to drop the ball now. Nor can she let all those years of hard work come to nothing. Beloved by all, the, ones and the one and only star of this grand opera. Whether lonely, helpless in pain or in sorrow, and even if it means taking all the misery of this world onto her shoulders, her will to protect the people of Fontaine, every last one of them, has never yet faltered. Interesting. So it seems like Farina does have a plan of some sorts. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. There is also another post, which is very interesting because it has... A vision. This time it does have a vision. While Nouvellets did not. But it's also interesting because, uh, yeah, and her vision is right there. Very interesting. And she can also switch between the, 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 cons uh, the, 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 the thingy. I always forget the name. Uh, in situation with Farina, but in a different way. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, so my theory was that Farina shares a body with the original, uh, with the previous Hydra Archon. Uh, but yeah, so this says, she could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. As far as I'm concerned, her very imperfections are what makes her perfect. A sinner's confession full of love and regret. A sinner's confession. Very interesting words. I'm not going to read too much in, into it. I'm sure everybody's like, the sinner, the sinner, the sinner. Uh, but I'm not going to read too much into it. Because this could literally be just an admirer of, uh, of Farina. But, uh, you know... Uh, name Farina, title Endless Solo of Solitude, Regina of All Waters, Kindreds, People, and Laws. No, interesting, just says Hydra, interesting, 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 interesting. Wouldn't it just be, is that not her weapon? Who is the sinner? I don't think we're getting the answer to that until we get to Conria, if I'm going to be honest. Um... It says Gnosis. What the heck? That's why I do think... I wonder if... Her plan... Now, hear me out. Because if she's talking about a plan, and we're finally getting to it... Uh, Leon, thank you for the tier one. I wonder if her plan was the Oryx. She's making Nick and Elise Cardiff. Now, jokes aside, I really do wonder if it is. Because... The, the biggest uh, theory that I feel like people have talked about Fontaine is that she, uh, Farina does not have her Gnosis. That she has given her Gnosis to the Oratrice Mechanique and Elise Cardinal, and that is why it is able to make such judgments. Why it's able to be, like, why it's so different. And it would also make sense why it would, um, why the Oratrice and Nouvellet come to the same conclusion about judgment uh, over and over and over again, right? Because the Gnosis is the power taken from the dragons originally, 
right? And then given to these Archons by the Heavenly Principle, so then the dragons aren't as powerful, correct? Am I incorrect? Uh, I feel like it is that, but I might be wrong. I always like to fact check, because, uh, you know, I remember some stuff, but not all the stuff. Yup. Uh, Gnosis have links to Celestia. Maybe that's how it gets verdict. Did Nuvi say that he'd consume Farina to get all of his power back? <laughs> he said he would consume the false gods. Um, so I feel so why was child guilty? I feel like that was actually part of, um, I don't know. That, I, look, I could pull some bullshit out of my ass about how the thing is, is also the Gnosis has been you know, with the Archon, so maybe it could have been part of uh, Farina's plan. Someone rigged it, maybe Farina did rig it, you know, because she, apparently it's what talking about a doing? plan, and the thing is, is that it seems like Farina does have a friendship with Nouvellette, and if the theory that the people of Fontaine have already drowned, and this is all an illusion, this is all a performance, you know, because it talks about how are you someone observing or are we all on the stage um it could just be all part of farina's plan to give the gnosis maybe to nouvellette like this might be the one that gets away because at the end of the day we're all like ah oh, yes of course all the gnosis are gonna go to this aritza but maybe farina's ultimate plan is like yeah i want to give nouvellette back his power because at the very beginning she she's known as the god that judges the other gods right but except nahidas well nahidas went to detore she gave that up so i don't know because uh it talks about how nouvellette does want to get his power back so i don't know that's just a theory she traded it yeah she traded it for information so but who's to say this might be the one that gets away from the Saritza. Who knows? Who knows? Just a theory, guys. I mean, we... Here's the, here's the unfortunate thing. We will probably not even get an answer tomorrow. <laughs> That's the unfortunate thing. We will probably not even get an answer tomorrow. We will probably just get way more questions say it and that's just a theory a theory thanks for anyway uh but yeah <laughs> uh but i am excited i am excited uh let's see okay so now let's look at the actual drip marketing for uh we've got navia who is our next geo character who we have not had a geo in so long we haven't had a Geo character since who? Interesting how they block both her vision and her uh, element. I know that the vision is right there, but still. Um, uh, but we haven't had a Geo since what? Yoon Jin? Oh my goodness. 2.4? Nah. Not 2.4. <gasps> I guess you're right. We didn't get we didn't get oh my god it's been two it's been over a year two years all right we're on year three of genshin right yeah so two years all right anyway yeah they need to do something with geo i hope that navia uh here's the thing i'm gonna be honest navia's design is cool i kind of have no interest in building Navia. Um, her character is cool. Her story made me like her more. But uh, I, I'm like, I need to see what she plays like for me to actually want to build her. Um, her story will probably be one of the most fun because uh, it's the whole mafia and all that stuff. Who messaged me? I'm scared to look. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the thing. I, I, um, when it comes to Fontaine, I've been very weird. I, I haven't even built the characters. I've had my cousin build characters for me, and he's slowly but surely building characters. The It's so funny because the Fontaine ones, he's like, do you want me to build them? And I was like, dude, have fun. And I was like, and he's like, great. Um, but okay, let, let me read more into uh, Navia real quick. 
Navia, helm of the Radiant Rose, President, Leader, Boss, Commander-in-Chief of the Spina de Rosula, Genshin Impact. Judging from her appearance, there's no doubt that Navia is the very picture of a Fontanian lady. She likes to accouter, uh, accouter, uh, I don't know how to say that word, herself in ornate dresses and fine hats, and carries with her a ribund, a ribboned uh, umbrella encrusted with jewels, plaques, <clears throat> Thus bedecked, she fits around the streets of the Court of Fontaine, the slopes of Mount Alter... Uh, dude, I do not envy people who have to say these words, as well as lesser-known spots along the flu... I'm so glad I was in Sumeru and not Fontaine saying all these French words. She's never been hindered by her, uh, by her long flowing dress, nor by her deceptively heavy umbrella. Spry as a sparrow, she is the bearer of glad tidings from the Spina di Rosula for those in need. Perhaps this is why Navi has become one of the famous reporters of Charlotte's favorite subjects. Uh, at the exhibition hall of the Steambird, there even hangs a photo connected to her called the Soaring Yellow Rose. But there's no need to worry, for it goes without saying that the photo's subject not only consented to its showing, but also gave her enthusiastic support. So that's the thing, right? With honest, we know that she's the president, leader of boss, uh, leader, boss, commander in chief of the Spina de Rosula, but essentially the mafia, right? Um, I am interested in her story. I need to see her build. And what will really sell me on Navia is if Navia can somehow change Geo as a whole. I doubt it'll happen, but the fact that it, the fact that it, I didn't realize it's been almost two years, if not two years, um, it's crazy that this is the first time we're getting a Geo character and there has to be something with it, right? There has to be something with Geo. And I wonder what type of weapon She'll have no leaks, chat. No leaks. If you know the answer, no leaks, please. We don't do leaks or spoilers here. Um, I'm curious if she'll be Catalyst. Because we haven't had... Do we have a Geo Catalyst at all? No, right? We don't have a Geo Catalyst. It was in a cutscene. I don't remember. Ning Guang? Okay. Okay. This is Ning Guang. Dude... Lady Ning Wong hasn't been around for a year either. That's not true. She's probably been, it's been a few months. Uh, thank you for the two subs. I appreciate it. How do you not remember that cutscene? Do you understand? I'm so forgetful. She'll be Claymore. I hope the umbrella is the Claymore. We'll see. Uh, when we were young, we used to play a kind of tabletop game, Genius Invocation TCG, where she, sh Vienna? With the raid, how's it going, raiders? I'm Sayu, the cyborg Sayu. Dragon in my walls. Hey, what's up? What's up, Vienna? Hope you all had a good stream. Uh, welcome. I'm Sayu. I am a professional voice actor, got VTuber. I voice Sino and Genshin Impact, Jing Yuan, and Honkai Star Rail, and many other things. If you would like to know what I've been in, exclamation point. VA in the chat. Right now, we're just going through the drip marketing of uh, Genshin Impact that they dropped yesterday, and then we're going to be playing the uh, new story of, well, old story of Nouvellette, prepping for uh, the new stuff that's coming out tomorrow. So uh, we're going to be experiencing the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. So, how did you feel when you were playing Leon and Leon versus Ash? I felt great. I cried. It was great. But yes, welcome everybody. We're just having a few, uh, reading over this, theorizing, doing other stuff. Up your stream was super fun. Uh, been a while, Vienna. I lurk every now and then. In Spanish again? It's not even in Spanish. It's doing it with a Spanish accent. The Oratrice Mecanique d'Analyse Cardinal. It's not even in Spanish. Technically, it's French with a Spanish accent. Sorry. Technically, it's saying French words with, with, in a butchered English way with a Spanish accent. That's the whole thing. Sounds like Italian. Damn. Did you just rizzes up? <laughs> no, that's Ray Chase. You can call me Spanish Ray Chase, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'll butcher Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal in multiple ways. Italian is Spanish French confirmed. Okay, now that might be racist. <laughs> now that might be racist. <laughs> 
That might unintentionally be racist. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're reading over this. Um, uh, when we were young, we used to play a kind of tabletop game where she would be the adventurer and I the host. Playing things by ear has always come naturally to me, but all the same, I was often stumped by her decisions and the rip reposts. Uh, man, I can't read today. She came out with. But then again, that's what made it so interesting. Clorin. Or Clorand. Navia, Helm of the Radiant uh, Rose, Leader Boss, we already know. Geo, Rosa Multiflora. Interesting. But yeah, I've given my thoughts. D&D. &D. Where? Am I blind? Oh, because of the tabletop game. Where she would be the adventurer and I the host. Playing things by ear as they come naturally to me. I didn't even connect the dots. But the thing is... The thing is... Clorand would be... Would be the DM. And Navia is just like, play with me, please. Play with me. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cute, the D&D &D aspect. But now I know that Clorand is a dungeon master, which therefore, I need Clorand and uh, Sino to meet. Now, a hey, son Naruto, thank you for the sub, and take me to the sky, thank you for the 10 bitties. What are my thoughts on Clorand? Uh, she's hot, and she's also cool looking. But God, that button is struggling for her life. Now, this is the one that I wanted to look at. She has a gun. Yeah, yeah. This executioner, Chevreuse, has a gun. We got ourselves a little pom-pom with an eye patch. Pom-pom uh, fusion with Fischl. Um, So it's very interesting. Uh, the executioner of Hello, the executor of justice. Purple heart, goat, front facing baby chick. Well, she's pyro. Oh no! Pom pom digivolved into Angel Woman <laughs> for her neutral special. So let's let's look into this because I actually don't know anything about her. Chevaru's executor of justice, special security and surveillance patrol captain. Behave yourself, or the patrol will get you. A warning often issued to naughty Fontanian children from exasperated parents. Of course, well, those children... Hey, Rina Kurama, thank you for the subby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, behave yourself. Thank you for the ten bitties. Uh, of course, those children are too young to understand how ridiculous such a thought is, that you might be dragged off by the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol for going to bed too late, eating snacks after brushing your teeth, or getting bad grades. In reality, the only people that patrol that the patrol are really after are notorious criminals. As children grow older and come to learn this, these warnings quickly lose their effect. So, Santa Claus with a gun. But some members of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol can't help but resent this type of education when they notice children on the street quietly slipping away as they approach. As they see it, painting such a picture of the patrol couldn't be more inappropriate. If people are allowed to keep saying such things, then the patrol's infamous reputation will loom like a shadow over the children of Fontaine, and who knows how long it will stay there. What's wrong with that? This was Special Security and Surveillance Patrol Captain Chevreuse's response as she sat there dealing with official documents. I hope they'll always remember our infamous reputation and understand the meaning behind it. That way, perhaps there won't need to come a day when I have to drag them away for real. Interesting. Interesting. Now, chat, do we think that we're actually going to be able to get a blicky? Do you guys think that we're actually going to get a gun? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think what is going to happen, I think it's going to be something similar to a Choco Boy. Uh, you know, our little, a little blonde boy with a crossbow. I think it's going to be something like that. Um, uh, poor Mika. No. Uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be something like that, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, nope. Sword with Mika's type gun. Yeah, I, I do think it's going to be something like that. Now, the other thing they could do, they could give us a gun, but they could call it a bow, right? Because if they do that, then it's like, oh, yeah, it's just ranged weapon now, rather than just bow, you know? Uh, so, we'll see about that. No, we do not look at leaks here. Why would I look at... The Skirk model leaks. So please, don't talk about leaks. No spoilers, no leaks here, please. Now, what does it say here? 
Once again, I implore you, we must tighten up special security and surveillance patrols entry requirements right now. We count among our members petty crooks who have burgled all our all over the courts of Fontaine, street fighters whose only concern is getting rich, and even a bandit whose band of cronies almost succeeded in robbing a bank. If you hadn't personally caught him red-handed, scoping the place out under the guise of being an investor, they might very well have pulled it off. For pity's sake, we're supposed to be the Mison guarded... I don't even know how to say that. If... Even if I, uh, just to preserve our image, please consider doing something. The ninth in a series of pleading letters sent to Chevaroux by Captain Groschard of the Guards. Sculptum. So she makes the guards look bad, which is great. So, female Sino with a gun, let's go! <laughs> nah, she looks cool. Uh, I, uh, I'm interested in her. I don't know why her outfit gives me uh, Nutcracker vibes. Like, you know. Also, I just realized she's wearing headphones. She's got headphones on her. You guys see that? I can't tell if that's part of her uniform or if it's headphones. Christmas event character. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that's what she's listening to as she's taking down the children. <laughs> All right, chat.